Hello students my name is Sumit Mehta so in today's lecture we will discuss about algebra of events okay so as in the chapter of sets we have studied about different ways of combining two or more sets like union intersection difference okay complement complement events so like these we will divide or we will define different type of events in probability also okay so the first is complementary events okay so the complementary event student for every point a there there correspond point a dash which is called the complementary event or not a okay so a dash is equals to not of a so let's say we are taking an example of tossing three coins so the sample space would look like H H H H H T H T H T H H H T T T H T T T H triple T. Okay, so this is the sample space when you toss the three coins. So let A be the event only one tail appears. only one tail appears okay so a will be h t h h h t and t h h so this is the events containing in a so now but we may say that the event not a or you can say a complement will be in which there is no one tail means more than one tail which is not a occurs so that will be s minus a or you can say that the events will be h h h h t t t h t t t h and t t t so these eight events minus these three events will be the not of A. Okay, students. Now let's discuss about the union of two events. Union of event students. Let's say A is one event and B is one event. So we need to find out A or B. This is equals to A union B. Okay. And this is called as the sample space associated with the A union B. Okay, now let's come to intersection. So it is all same if there are two events A and B. So the same A intersection B will be A and B both occurring simultaneously. So let us take the example A element having element 6 1 6 2 6 3 6 4 6 5 and 6 6 okay and b has 5 6 6 5 and double 6 okay so a intersection B will be students A intersection B will be these two events because they are only common events so that will contain 6 5 comma 6 6 ok so this is the intersection of events now let's discuss the difference of events so let's discuss about difference of events student so difference of events A and B is defined by a minus b in which 
it is also defined by a complement a intersection b complement okay so this is called as difference of two events okay now let's discuss about mutually exclusive events so mutually exclusive events students when one event happen the probability of happening a second event is zero means there is no common part in these two events so let's say event a has element 1 3 5 all the odd numbers and even b has elements 2 4 6 all the even so they are both mutually exclusive means a intersection b is a null set okay so these are called as mutually exclusive events okay now let's discuss about exhaustive events so exhaustive events let me give you one example if the sample space has elements like 1 2 3 4 5 6 on tossing a single die okay let a has number less than 4 so the elements in a will be 1 2 3 in the elements in b number greater than 2 but less than 5 so it is 3 and 4 only and c has a number greater than 4 number greater than 4 so which has 5 and 6 only so clearly students these three events or the union of these three will form the sample space a union b union c is equals to s you can check that 1 2 3 will come from here this 3 4 and 5 6 okay so a union b union c will form the sample space so these events whose union form a sample space are called as exhaustive events okay students so till now we have covered all the different types of events and in the next lecture we will discuss some questions based on these events okay so stay tuned for next lecture on questions based on these events thank you students happy learning